Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. This is a review and demo of Double Felt Grand, which is a new piano within Keyscape by Spectrasonics. Now this is a free update for anyone who owns Keyscape. So all you have to do is click on the update button when you open Keyscape, and it'll take you to the website. You go to your account and download the new library. I'm going to play a little bit from each preset and then let you know my thoughts on it. So to access it, you need to go to your acoustic pianos, scroll down, and then you'll see the double felt grand. Now you may be wondering what is double felt? Double felt is when the hammers have more felt on them. This is going to soften the sound. It's going to give it a more percussive but softer sound. And here it is. Now, I have to say that that sound is just wonderful. There's something very calming about this compared to just hearing the normal sound of a piano. It sounds like a harp instrument mixed with a percussive instrument, and you can get some very beautiful colors out of it. I don't know if you noticed also that it brings out certain fundamental tones in the note. You hear less of the harmonics and more of the fundamental. Now, the great thing about Keyscape is that it comes with a lot of effects. So you have reverb, but it's not just any type of reverb. You have different types, like a lively room, all the way to super shimmer, sub octave, and I'll go through a couple of these with the presets. But you can control the amount, the decay, the modulation, and the low cut, just like any reverb plugin should have. You also have control over release noise, so that's the sound it makes whenever you let go of the key. Here's none. You can hear a lot more then. And then the pedal noise is going to be the sound of the damper lifting off the keys. If you have headphones or speakers, really good speakers, you'll be able to hear this. And then you can control the dynamics. So all the way up is going to give you a very linear response to your velocity. So soft is going to yield soft. And hard will yield hard. But if you lower it all the way, then you get more of a hard sound with the soft velocities. And you have EQ, denoise, all these same parameters, all these same settings that you'll have with the other pianos. Now let's go ahead and listen to their presets. So this is cinematic. So cinematic usually has a very compressed sound with lots of shimmering reverb. And right here, this is taking advantage of super shimmer. I love the octaves that it plays. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. They're sort of overtones.
It's a pad-like sound. It really adds a great effect to this. And there's a delay as well. But you can tweak all those parameters. Clear is going to give you a clearer sound, so you're going to hear more of the tone of the piano. Dark is going to be the opposite. This is distant. No matter how hard I play, it sounds like it's far away. That's really cool. Very nice. Here is dry. That is my second favorite so far. Very beautiful. You hear all the detail, but you don't get that washed sound. So you have more clarity. You can play a little faster. Here is Session. This one has a little bit of a wet sound. It's a little wetter than the dry. Octavia. This one takes advantage of the sub octave reverb. So let's hear how that sounds. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> it's almost like getting different instruments. Shimmer wash. This one is going to be soaked in reverb with the super shimmer. So it's probably not going to sound good if you play many notes. So I'll just play a couple. very celestial beautiful 
And last but not least, the deep. This one is going to have the sub octave, denoise, natural feel. Pretty nice it's a very nice sound all in all i think this is a gorgeous gorgeous library the sample quality is top notch the presets are inspiring and the fact that this is free for everyone who owns keyscape meaning you don't have to pay extra for for an add-on that's always a good thing well friends thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this review if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell if you're new and want to stay up to date on my latest videos, leave a comment below telling me what you think about this, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.